this stadium. Martin Tyler here, Alan Smith has joined me in the commentary area. Our competition today is EFL League 2. We're both really looking forward to this, Alan. I think the first ten minutes might tell us how this match is going to pan out, who can gain the upper hand, who can get hold of this ball and ask all the questions. Turn pass. Neil Bishop. Stopping the pass, getting through with a good piece of anticipation. He's way off target. For Mansfield Town. But we put it up as a 5-2-3. It could be 3-4-3, three, three, couldn't it, if the wide players get forward from the back? Yeah, I think it's one of those. It could be anything the manager wants it to be. He has got some very talented lads out there, though. Comfortable for the keeper. Goal news from Bradford. It's a goal for Bradford City. Nine minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Thank you very much, Alan. And the opposing team will start the game like this. 4-4-2, but a diamond shape is how he's gone, particularly during matches. It may be that he's going to start with a diamond today. Yeah. But I've seen this manager so often switch formations midstream during the course of a match, and we might see that again today. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Well, the referee has produced a red card in the game, being watched by Alan McAnally. It's a red card for the visitors. They're down to ten men. 16 minutes played, it remains nil-nil. Cheers, Alan. Well, the visiting manager will know all the scenarios here. If they uh, win, obviously, that's what he's trying to do. Um, but they could actually go top if other results go their way today. Well, they've been pretty good, haven't they? More than pretty good, really. Very consistent. Goal news involving Swindon. It's a goal for Swindon Town. 19 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Well, right on the spot there for that story. Alan Mac lovely ball. Can he finish? to be to the rescue and how Alan your view on the attempt at goal corner played into the middle Quick swing at it the fist of the keeper defender to take the lead easy for the goalkeeper when really there was every chance of him being totally beaten then but he's got the ball yeah he was exposed there uh, treads it through And Smith. Certainly playing well enough to get their noses in front here. Now here's a chance from winning the ball. Goal news from Morecambe. It's a goal for the visitors. 31 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Thank you very much, Alan. Jones. And Smith set up to play on the break now. A great chance to go in front. Very close in, Alan, but not very close to scoring. Yeah, a simple save in the end, and it should have been anything but. He should have been picking it out of the net, the keeper. It's almost as if these two sides are just sizing each other up. But sooner or later, they've got to take the shackles off and start trying to steer it through. Well, here he go. has to score. Pushed out by the goalkeeper, but only into a dangerous area. Great work by the goalkeeper. Great hand. Oh, mistake by the goalkeeper. Got to be. Just rushed it a little bit. Could have relaxed a bit more. Yeah, and he seemed to be off balance when he hit it. To Jones. And Smith. Here's the chance. Tremendous goal. And we have got the first breakthrough now. Well, I do think they deserve that for the football they've played today. Well, it's a good finish. They've had one or two opportunities, but not quite as clean cut as this one. 
And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. The crowd uh, may be expected a bit more, but two added minutes. Of added time. Blocked off the pass there. And that's half-time. Signalled by the referee. 1-0 the half-time score. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? And now the second period, the second half is underway. And Smith. It's good work here in terms of possession. Can they find the final pass? Goal news now from Cheltenham. It's a second goal for the visitors. 49 minutes played. 2-1. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. has cleared the danger and Jones didn't want it to stop did they and the referees uh, got the sympathy of this match I think he understands it and they're playing on penalty at Bradford it's a penalty for Port Vale he's put the ball down on the spot here he comes Oh, he's hit the post and it's no goal! 56 minutes, please. It remains 2-1. We're back here again, thanks to Alan McAnally. Real chance. It's a penalty against them two here. Well, I don't think it's going to be their day. Penalty given, Alan, but no sign of a card. No, I think that's fair enough. I think penalty award is perhaps punishment enough. Oh, he's put it wide. Oh, my word, he's gone for the corner, but missed it by a little distance there. Goal news from Scunthorpe. It's a second goal for Scunthorpe United. 61 minutes played, 2-1. Oh, right on the spot there for that story, Alan McAnally, of course. Can really get at the opposition here really the way to get the ball out of the danger zone Jacob Mellis I don't think he was quite sure where the goal was as he took the shot on the keeper's given the ball away to get the equaliser and it's a goal and they are level it is uh, level both sides have scored here now. First touch was good, but he's got to work hard to keep the ball. This does look promising. A great chance to go in front. Up for grabs here. It's been one of those matches, Martin. You haven't been able to take your eyes off it because... Uh... If you were to look away, you'd miss you. He's had a go here. It's offside, and the referee's given it. Well, I'm hearing that there has been a goal elsewhere. And Alan McAnally is the man on the spot, Alan. It's a second goal for the visitors. 73 minutes played, 2-0. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. And that will clear the danger. So we're coming down now towards the last 15 minutes. And Jones. The chance is here. 
He has come to the rescue this time. Well, that's proper defending. They can't score from there, it's out of play. Well, Alan, here's the substitution now. Yeah, he certainly chipped in with a really good performance and got a good goal too. The referee has blown and he's given the free kick. So easy in possession. Enterprising attacking play, but not quite enterprising enough. Goal news involving Bradford. It's a third goal for Bradford City. Five minutes remain. 3 1. Oh, many thanks. Alan McAnally keeping us up to date as usual. Well, the interception there is a good one. In fact, it's a great one because they could have scored an absolutely vital goal from that attack. Break is on, the support's there, they could actually get in and win the game here. McDonald. Really went, just diverted it away. There's only a minute to go. Excellent pressure. They should be able to build from here in midfield. Hamilton. It's poor work, really. Referee blows, and it's all square. Stopping the pass getting through.